Hi there, this is Marhadad here again. In the previous lecture, we have uh, configured uh, the uh, router, Juniper router using JWeb, and we have saved the configuration. So now let's see if the configuration has been successfully saved and if I have internet now on my computer. Before we do that, I just want to show you if I go back here to the command uh, line of uh, the router. So from here, if I go to, for example, ping, a.a.a.8 .8 .8 .8, which is the internet i see that my router is able to go to the internet why because remember his interface which is uh, the fast internet zero over zero over zero is connected to the internet uh, isp and it has provided for him a uh, ip address uh, subnet mask gateway dns because it is the http client that is how we configure it and if we say here show configure to see what we have uh, made as configuration, so actually it should be show configuration. So we see that uh, this is the host name that we have put. You see that uh, this is the name server, a.a.a.8 and 1.1.1.1 that we have put also. You see that there is a user we created, which is Maher. Also, it's a super user. And that's also uh, there with, with uh, the password. And what else? Um, we see here the DHCP. You see the DHCP, that is the pool. There is the IP from the low to the high, the name server, which is the DNS that is going to provide it, and it is the gateway. So you, that is there. And uh, we have also, let's have a look what also the NTP. Remember, we put ntp.pool.org. And we can see that the fast internet 0 over 0 over 0 has the HTTP client on it. So to be able to receive an IP from the ISP. And uh, then we have, uh, those are Ethernet switching, the fast Ethernet 0 over 0 over 1 until 7. So far, so good. So uh, there is the NAT also that we created. You see that it is the zone until two zone Internet. So this is the NAT that we have created. And that's it. So you can see that uh, everything that we have configured on the JWeb has been shown up over here on the uh, uh, console. All right. Now, what I need to do is first, let's check if my computer has received an IP. So let's uh, go from here. Let's say IP config. And we see it has received an IP of 192.1.2. So that's uh, very good. Now let's try to ping to a.a.a.a.8 from my computer. Here we go. I can go to the internet. Let's try to ping to Google to see if the DNS is working also. And yes, it is able to go to the internet. So now my computer is fully connected to the internet. Now what I want to do is to go to JWeb again. And let's go to the root Juniper. So you can see what we have there. One, two, three. So then we can see also over there the uh, how it looks now and what we can still do from the JWeb. So you can see I logged in. It didn't take me anymore to the um, questions uh, like step by step what you want to do because everything is already configured. All right. So now the problem is that uh, we need to have the uh, flash uh, enabled. So let's go to the uh, dashboard. So actually, it needs the, the flash to be enabled. And so maybe I can use another browser. Let's try, for example, to use the uh, Chrome, the Google Chrome. So this is Google Chrome here. And let's go to the IP of the Juniper. Let's log in through Maher, because also we created a user. It's called Maher. And uh, to see if we can log in also, it should be possible because it's also super user when I create it. Here we go. So now let's go to the dashboard. You see, we need to have the Adobe Flash Player enabled for this to be shown up. So let's wait for the loading data to be finished and then I will enable. So I click on it and then I will say allow and then OK. Now it's much better Then we can have some more things to be shown over here. So uh, you can see that uh, this is uh, the router over here. Let's go back to the dashboard. 
So you can see this is what uh, I would like to see. There is the Juniper router. You see that the, the has two ports now uh, functioning. This is going to the internet. This is going to my LAN. And the other ports, I don't, I don't have anything connected to it. So here you have some more information about the CPU, the memory, and storage. Now, if you want to do some configuration or changes on the router, you can just go to configure. And look, really amazing. This router can do NAT, source NAT, destination NAT, static NAT, proxy, security. Look what things can be done on this. This can be a really nice firewall for your network. If you want to have IPsec, so that's a VPN, that's possible. Wireless LAN switching, you can configure VLAN, spanning tree protocol, GVRP. You can have routing, static routing, RIP, OSPF, BGP, policies, class of service, that is quality of service. It's really amazing. It's such a nice server, small product, you can do all of those things. Yeah. So uh, that's uh, now if you want to, for example, see the command line. You can just go to the command line viewer over here and you can see this is what we have seen on the uh, console when we're connected to the console. If you want to adjust it, you can go to the CLI editor and you can adjust it over here. So for example, if you want to change the host name, you want to make it, for example, SRX1, you just change it and then you say commit and then you have to wait for this to be validated, the configuration. And then in a moment, you will see that this router will have another name. It was SRX. It will be SRX1. So if you see now, this router has a name of SRX. In a moment, once the configuration has been applied, it should change directly on the console to SRX1. So this needs to be finished. So then the changes can happen. So as you can see, this is success now. And if I go back to the command line, here to the console, you see the router has changed the name to SRX1. Very, very good. Now, what you can still do more things, for example, you can monitor and you also have all those options to be able to monitor. You can maintain, so uh, rebooting, taking snapshots, looking to the file. So here, if you want to upgrade and downgrade the package of uh, the router that's possible and also you have possibility to do the troubleshooting so you can use for example the ping host so in the ping host here you can put the, the uh, for example here an ip and you can make the ping from this router you can go to the command line uh, terminal so you need here in java applet to be loaded so all of those things are really something nice you can do from jweb of course configuring from the command line is for me, it's much better, much easier for me than uh, this uh, graphical user interface because uh, we can have some more th uh, uh, a way to uh, uh, access the router and do what we want on the router. But this needs some expertise and you need to know what you are doing via the command line. The JWeb is much easier in case you don't have knowledge uh, on the command line, how to configure, for example, Juniper, and you just have a Juniper router, you want to configure it, then this is much easier to do it from here. All right. So, uh, yeah, this is what I wanted to show you uh, about uh, the uh, uh, Juniper configuration using JWeb. So now if you want to go, for example, to um, anything uh, like, uh, let's go to google.com, google.com, you see that we have internet and it is working without any issue. So I hope that uh, this uh, video uh, and uh, the whole uh, course was informative for you because the course has already finished now uh, with this lecture. And uh, in case you like uh, my course, I uh, hope that you can inform other uh, people about it and uh, yeah, and, uh, to register to it. And also I hope that to see you registering on my other courses as well. So thank you very much for the time that you have spent in this course. And I hope that that could help you with what you need. And I hope to see you in my other courses. Bye-bye.